Good morning, campers. Uh, I apparently did not pick a great spot to sleep last night. All right, so the noise is going to be annoying until we get to the highway. Sorry, uh, that's my my interaxle differential. All right, let's make sure our brakes aren't frozen. Oh, beautiful, beautiful! They just released right away. I think we have disc brakes all around, so they don't they don't freeze like drum brakes. At least not as not as often. Uh, it snowed last night, so we've got to get to that ramp right in front of us. We're west of Cheyenne, Wyoming. I suddenly remember why I don't usually sleep here in the winter. Crawly, creepy, crawly, creepy, crawly, creepy, crawly. Let's get our headlights on before I forget. So, um, yeah, we are. We're still hauling that load I, I picked up in Henderson. Okay, this is the dangerous bit because this is where we've got to do the, the serpentining. Anyone coming down the ramp? No, fantastic. All right, that significantly decreases our chances of getting run into. Make a nice gentle right turn. We're shifting manually at the moment. and then we're going to switch it back to automatic and merge with the traffic. Any chance y'all might move over for me or not? Because I'm on a whole bunch of ice right now so I can't really accelerate super hard. All right, cool. They moved over. Do, 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 do. Back into the highway with us. Switch to automatic. Turn off our diff lock. Okay. That's progress. That's progress right there. What's the speed limit, like 45? Does that say 65? Really? No way. That's gotta be 45. There's no way they're doing 65 in this. 65, that's 65, all right, sure. I mean, we're accelerating as hard as we can. We're kind of heavy and it's also uphill. Hi. He was very close to me as he passed our tail. He did not move over very far. Once I flinched away, he kind of figured that out. He's doing 55. That's not terrible. I don't think we're going to be doing over 45 myself, which is right about here. <coughs> Sorry. Still getting over the cold. So, um... I got like five more minutes. Uh, we are good, we are good. Uh, I'm, just, I'm having some electronic issues still. Uh, the GoPro and the microphone are not getting along all the time. It's leading to some silent videos or the one I uploaded from Chicago. Just for some reason, use the onboard microphone on the GoPro, which sucks. It's a very bad microphone. But um, I did a short test video before I started rolling and the test video, at least, used the, uh, used the external mic. So yesterday's stuff, none of that came out with audio. That was all completely silent. But today's, hopefully, all good. Um, not that you'll see it if it's not, but still, we're good. So uh, the leasing stuff is working out great. People keep asking me questions about how we're doing, and um, we're doing incredibly well. <laughs> uh, 
if you go into any of our uh, our Wilson Logistics recruiting uh, stuff and talk to any of our recruiters, they'll all tell you um, average take home pay for a lease operator is about twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars, so thirteen fifty. Um, we're significantly beating that average almost every week. Uh, we had like two weeks in December where we were below the average, but not by much. This week we would have been right on the average, but I luckily got our holiday bonus and that stuck us over 2000 So I've had, of the last six weeks, four of them I've made over $2,000 take home after expenses and truck payments. So we're doing good. We're doing very good. Not now, buddy. These lines do not mean anything. It is the, uh, the tire tracks that we are following. We ride the road that has been cleared before us. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, we're doing very good on the leasing department. Like I literally, I took home $2,000 in one week. That's more than I used to make in two months before I started trucking. It's incredible. I'm trying to save as much of that as possible for tax season, because I don't know how badly I'm going to get screwed over there. We were only lease operators for like three months, but that might still be enough for me to owe a decent chunk to the IRS. Um, and then I've also got my move coming up, though my move, uh, we're well under budget for that so far. So I think I think I'll have some leftovers from the move. I think I'll, I will probably be in a situation where I'm able to, after the move, go out, buy new laptop, new, um, new GoPro, Maybe even a new microphone, depending on whether or not that's the problem, uh, if it's not the camera. Like, we're in, we're in good shape. We're in very good shape, as far as financials go. <laughs> Mr. Apophis earning me quite a decent chunk of money. Uh-oh, is that a disabled truck? Nope, he's on the road. Okay, he's just very slow, like me. That's good. We catch up to a slower truck, I'm just going to stay with him. we're good we're starting to run out of time here so i will see you guys in the next video thank you for waking up with me today uh on this snowy morning and uh and traveling with the annoying diff lock beep up onto the freeway from our icy icy parking space and um yeah if if you are interested in doing the lease program at wilson logistics uh get a hold of one of our recruiters and let them know that you've been watching my stuff and you that's really awesome for me if you do that. Um, they're working on all sorts of stuff for uh, for helping show the, the, the nice sides of this job. But it, I, mm -hmm. I'm going to reiterate again, don't jump straight into a lease if you've never driven a truck before. Part of why we're being profitable as, as lease operators is because we've already got that really good um, relationship with our fleet manager. We know the customers. We know facilities we know where to get washouts we know fuel stops we know parking places it's a huge advantage to have a couple of years under your belt before you lease so i encourage y'all to do that if you are thinking about getting out into this um and remember you might not like your experience may vary uh, again according to our recruiters average take home pay for a lease op after all their expenses is 1350 that means there's people above that there's people below that so you know um see what uh you know if you're interested check that out because i i seem to be doing better than most uh <coughs> i seem to be doing better than most of the prime lease ops that i know so that's pretty encouraging for me i think prime might limit their own drivers um to a certain number of miles per week to keep them from earning too much over their lease but you know We've also got the advantage of in, in four years and seven months we'll own Mr. Apophis here. So, sorry, four years and eight months. I know how to math. We will own Mr. Apophis. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, come say hi on Twitter at Ellie O'Dare, and you can find me uh, as Ellie O'Dare on most video game services on the interwebs. Um, Especially Switch. Uh, link your Switch account and your Twitch, uh, Twitter account. 
um, link Switch in Twitter, and you can follow me on Twitter, and then you will be able to friend me on, on Switch. And I'm there a lot now, because that turned out to be an unbelievably good console for a truck driver to own. Um, it has an excellent little piece of hardware. It's basically a, a portable, modern console. It's wonderful. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.